A Bay Area woman kidnapped in the middle of the night. Police worry she's being held for ransom, and they say her boyfriend was there when she was taken. So why did he wait 10 hours to call for help? Well, that's exactly what her father wants to know. KPI X5's Joe Vasquez spoke with him earlier today. Joe's at the house in Vallejo where it all started. Joe? Alan, let me set the scene for you. Behind me, you can see a lot of media coverage taking place here. You've got reporters here from San Francisco to Sacramento to L.A. You've got police on the scene from local all the way up to federal. The FBI is involved in this investigation now. And family members are here up from Southern California, desperate for some answers. She's, she's my hero. I mean, she's my little girl. Mike Huskins gets emotional as he talks about his daughter, Denise. She's a beautiful girl, hardworking girl. Uh, she came up here to better her career. Denise Huskins works at Kaiser Hospital in a specialized physical therapy program. Family members say one of her co-workers is also her boyfriend, Aaron Quinn, who lives here on Kirkland Avenue. A police forensics team spent much of the day combing his home for evidence. He tells police he was there when somebody kidnapped his girlfriend at his house in the middle of the night on Monday. He filed a police report, but it wasn't until hours later. Apparently, he didn't come forward for 10 hours. So, Do you have a uh, problem with that? Of course, unless he's tied up, you know? I mean, well, why does he wait 10 hours to tell, tell the police that, you know, that she's missing? Search teams have been checking area fields Cadaver dogs are among the searchers. Mr. Huskins hopes his daughter is safe and wants to give her this message. If she sees this, I want her to know that the family is is there. We're we love her and we're not giving up. And if you see this, just use some inspiration to fight back if you can and come home. Police are not releasing very many details, but they did go out of their way today to say that the boyfriend is not a person of interest, not a suspect, Alan. Joe, on this ransom now, they're not talking about a note, they're not talking about an amount, and certainly not saying that any money might have changed hands. Right, it's very confusing right now, and in fact, uh, you, you know, I, I spoke to uh, Denise's father, and he said, that he talked to the police about this. They didn't raise the issue. He did. He oh. said, are you in communication with anyone right now? They said no. And he hasn't been asked for any money. A lot of mystery. All right, Joe, thanks for the update.